So today we're going to take a look at these torque wrenches here that you would find in a retail store. Of course, we have the Craftsman Cobalt Quinn gear wrench and SATA. Like normal, I'm going to auto them on my tester here. We'll do a thousand cycles. We'll auto them again. So let's first take a quick look, talk about the specs, and go from there. So they do all come with a calibration sheet. They are all made in Taiwan. Claimed accuracy in the clockwise direction of the Craftsman, Cobalt, Quinn, and Seda there is 3%, whereas the gear wrench claims 2 Overall length, you can see, is about the same with the Seda and gear wrench here coming in at about 7 eighths of an inch shorter. Ratchet mechanisms here. The Craftsman and Cobalt have a 36 tooth ratcheting head, whereas the rest here with the Quinn, Seda, and gear wrench have a 72 tooth mechanism. Case wise here, pretty straightforward with the Seda and the gear wrench there, your normal blow molded case with the flimsy latches. Next, I got the Cobalt here. Yeah, just like normal, typically you would take this plastic piece off and this would just sit open style in your toolbox. Craftsman, solid plastic there, nice visible view here. To me, you know, it's got nice latches, but this is something going in a toolbox, not something going in a service truck. Quinn, blow molded, but you do have the solid plastic latches. All right, let's go ahead and look at the interfaces here. Of course, this is the Quinn, gonna be the same pretty much for this, the Cobalt and Craftsman with one big exception. On the Craftsman, you do not have the memory button here. Of course, if it does have the memory button, then you have a preset of one to nine. Display, two LEDs. If we power it up here at the power button, you can see it's currently in angle. We can go ahead and change that by hitting the FN. Set that in foot pounds and then adjust it accordingly up or down. Now I did find adjusting this a lot better than on the SATA and the gear wrench because on those once you got to a certain stage it started to aggressively move faster so it was kind of hard to dial it right in real quick if you want to change between peak and track you just hold this FN shows you the mode we hit the up now we're in track mode we can go back to peak acknowledge that And then we're back out of it there. Now one thing to know when you're in peak, every time after you make that torque setting, you're gonna to wanna to clear that hitting the power button so that it does reset on the display there. If not, then you're gonna to start to apply torque again and it's still gonna display the previous torque that you applied. Now if we look at the SATA here, same thing as the gear wrench for the most part. If we hit our power button, Displace the setting there for a second and then it zeroed out. To change the setting, you gotta hit set. And then you're gonna scroll up. And like I was saying before, all of a sudden it really starts speeding up there versus between the other three where it was pretty consistent on the speed all the time. Now, one thing you gotta keep in mind here, you see we went back. Well, we're not, we never save that. So you have to set it, hit the save to save the value. Units, you're just gonna click the button on top here, UNI, you can scroll between those. And then this percentage over here allows you to change the percentage at which it's going to start to indicate set within the desired torque. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Again, the SATA and gear wrench do not do angle, only torque but you do have vibration and you do have that LED right here. With the Craftsman Cobalt and Quinn coming with batteries and the gear wrench and SATA do not. Now the gear wrench there, it actually uses AAA batteries. So one thing you gotta keep in mind when we do audit a digital torque wrench, I may not always be right at the mark, so it may look like I'm in or out of the range. At the end, I will calculate it put it in a table and show you with it actually calculated out.
All right, so I cycled each one of them for a thousand. Then I let them sit for a couple hours. We're gonna go ahead here, run the audit again on each one and just see if anything did change at all. So after pulling all the data and after adjusting it for user error there on hitting the mark, here you can see that before and after the Craftsman, Cobalt, Quinn, and Seda did quite well with the Seda definitely, definitely doing really well on accuracy and the gear wrench there, you know, at that around 50 foot pounds, yeah, nowhere near the claimed accuracy of 2%. Okay, so we did do torque there. Now we have the Cobalt, Craftsman, and Quinn here. All three of these actually do angle. So to test this, of course, I have a rundown bolt here, which will allow us to have a torque on the torque wrench of about 12.5 foot-pounds and higher. You need that to start before you can actually do an angle. So now that we have that, I've got just your normal little angle gauge here on top. And I'll bring you guys in a little closer. And we're just going to do a simple 90. So maybe you can see that, you know, this is about 89.5. Pretty much right on the money, just like the Quinn, maybe 89.75. Now I did go to use the Craftsman here and when it tried to auto calibrate, it did error four. Now the book will say, take the batteries out. And so I'm gonna to try to go ahead and go to angle. We'll see if it does that calibration again. You can see with the zeros, it's trying to cal. And there it went. Same there can also be said with the Craftsman, about 89.75. So what's the takeaway here? Well, basically we know, to me, the gear wrench is out. Uh, a previous viewer commented on one of my other videos and said that they tested this as well and it was out of range. And clearly on the low end for me, before and after a thousand cycles, yeah, it's out of range. Now when we look at the Cobalt, Craftsman, and Quinn there, they're pretty much all the same for accuracy, but one of the big deals with the Craftsman is again, for some reason, I mean, they must've got scammed and uh, didn't end up getting the memory button, which if you're gonna use this a lot, to me, that memory button is a must have. That way you can easily cycle between nine presets. So something like a torque and then an angle, you can click, click, done, go, move on. I do, however, like the grip, and you know, the case is all right as well. But that memory function to me, unless you can get this really cheap, I'm going to have to put this in fourth place. Now, between the Quinn and the Cobalt here, honestly, that's really going to come down to price. I will say I do like the quick release here on the Cobalt to take the socket on and off. Cobalt offers a little bit better warranty with the Quinn coming at a standard 90 day. To me, the biggest question here is, are you doing angle or not? Because if you're not doing angle, I'm gonna tell you to go with the SATA. Pretty much the cheapest priced one here. And the handle vibrates right when you're at the torque. Unlike the gear wrench, the gear wrench is all over the place. Here, I was really consistent with the torquing. But if you need to do angle, you know, it's gonna to have to be the Cobalt Quinn or even the Craftsman there. But you lose the handle vibrating, which to me is a big deal when you do not have LED indicators on the side. 
But overall, these two are going to be my picks. The Quinn mainly because you can typically get it cheaper on sale at Harbor Freight or even use a 20% coupon. And then the Seda here, again, is right on the money. Really good accuracy. And the handle, of course, vibrates to let you know when you're at that desired torque. So here's a little table showing, you know, the model, MSRP, warranty, if it can actually do angle or not. And then, of course, how many teeth the ratchet mechanism is. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on another one.